learning to make life's sweet lubricant. May I pour you a glass? Hey, if you like wine, then uh, we have a perfect place for you. Yeah, we do. It's called Water to Wine, and you can make your own wine. Dan Drew joins us live from Greenwood Village to tell us more this morning. Dan, you making your own wine before 7 a.m. seems a little dangerous to me. Well, listen, it's got to be noon somewhere, Laura. <laughs> listen, I'm, hey, listen, I'm calling you Laura because you look like Laura Croft this morning, Mel. You look fantastic. Oh, <clears throat> thanks, Dan. I, I don't know who that is, but I'm going to Google. Laura I don't Croft. know what it is, but you look you, you look absolutely fantastic. And I heard Mike saying earlier, oh, Dan's drinking wine in the morning. What's new? I feel like the new Dean Martin of uh, Denver. Everybody loves it. <laughs> but let me tell you something. It is called Life's Sweet Lubricant. That's what my mom used to say. And God bless her soul. I think she's right. And you know what? Either you, if you want to buy it or if you want to learn to make it yourself. You have any handcuffs on? Oh, no, I guess no, you are no, I'm good. Marcus <laughs> Tipton is with me right now. He owns, um, it's a new place in the Denver metro area. And it's called Water to Wine. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning. All right, we're going to make, you're going to teach us how to make wine. I am. So how, we, how do we do it? And you're going to teach people to make wine too. We do, and it doesn't actually take that long. So uh, basically what we're starting with is... Basic ingredients. Basic ingredients, and... Uh, is? Which, well, so generically I, speaking... I just shut up, you tell me. <laughs> generically speaking, it's uh, grape juice, also technically called must. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to add the actual grape smash or the crush from the vineyard mm -hmm. and uh, gives it a little bit more body, better taste, more alcohol. Who doesn't love more alcohol, especially at five o'clock in the morning? Or uh, who doesn't love more alcohol? I know someone who does love more alcohol and it's Josh Hands. So Josh is going to help me. Josh is a brewmaster. He's locking down the camera because I got to hold the microphone. Basically, when you talk about the grape juice, instead of stomping your own grapes, uh, you have to accelerate the process here at Water to Wine a little bit. Oh, good morning, Josh. Good morning. And uh, so we, we start with grape juice That's exactly and then you're going to put the mash in. Right. All right. No, now, Josh is going to help you. You know, what Josh has some cheesecloth. What's up with the cheesecloth? The cheesecloth is going to help us keep go. our wine really clean. Uh -huh. So we're just going to put this in uh -huh. and uh, make sure that we get it all in because we want all of the flavor in the wine. And again, you're putting m m musk? Uh, what is this that? is actually the mash of the grape. With oh, a mash of the grape yep. into the grape juice. That's exactly right. And that gives right. it the body and the flavor and the tannins. That is exactly Did I say right. tannins? Is that a correct? Is that it's even a word? It's actually tannins, but yeah, you're close. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the process takes about 45. All right, now you're a beer guy, right, Josh? Yes. And you're a wine guy. I am, yeah, you, but I guys, still like him. Are you yeah. guys going to get along? Yeah, I think You're not so. going to throw down or anything. All right, so the process takes about 45 days. Exactly, 45 days from when we're mixing it just like this uh -huh. until you guys come back and actually bottle it and put your labels on. So this, our, let's see, well, according to my math, this show is only three hours long, so right, yeah. well, you know, we're going to accelerate the process. Coming up next hour, we're going to do a little bottling. And so water to wine. Josh, nicely done. Thank you. Wait, Thanks. I think it's already done. Oh, Look right there, there. It's already done. Well, there you go. Oh. Water to wine. It's not fast. And uh, go to our website, kdvr.com, for information. Coming up next hour, we're actually going to do a little bottling and perhaps a little tasting. Uh, what the heck? We'll do it right now. Everybody. Dan, here's the good thing. Every time that you're drinking on the show in the morning, the great thing is you're not doing it alone. You're always with other people. So that's why I don't worry about you too much. Oh, excuse me, Mike. I got enough gas to get to Fort Morgan. <laughs> there we go. All right. With that said, we will move on. Thanks, Dan. Also, our very own Dan Drew on the Monday Grape Stomping Beat. I didn't even know that was a beat, but apparently it is. Hey, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mike and Mel. Listen, it ain't Napa Valley, but it ain't bad either. Learning to make your own wine. Yes, it could. All right. Have you ever wanted to make your own wine? I'll leave that to the experts. But if you do, there's a place in Greenwood Village that will let you do just that. Dan Daru joins us live from Water to Wine to tell us more. Hey, Dan. Hey, good morning, Mel. Good morning, Mike. You know, they say happiness is not a destination. It's a means of travel. What am I talking about? Well, Josh Hans is shooting today's live shot. He makes his own beer. He enjoys it. You can easily go to a liquor store and buy it. But he makes it because, well, why do you make it, Josh? Because it's fun. Because it's fun. Hey, it can even be fun for you as well, um, too. As well, too, also. <laughs> a little more of this should help. Water to wine. Marcus Tipton owns the joint. Marcus, good morning. Good morning. Listen, you teach people to make their own wine. It's a 45-day process, um, but it's really hands-on, and you really get an education. Folks really get an education. Absolutely. We can uh, teach you as much as you want to know about it, mm -hmm. and uh, we can, we're back in the production area, and we can show you exactly what goes on. Now, it's a 45-day process by the time they come in and they start making now. you got to have to kind of condense it a little bit. In other words, we're 
not stepping on our own grapes, but you start off with, with grape juice, right. grape juice, real grape Basically. juice, yep. and then you add this, well, I want to call it mash, but what do you add to it? Yeah, it's mash. Oh, it's yeah, actually mash. The, the crushed grapes. That gives it a flavor, whatnot, and then it comes to the production area, that's and exactly that's right. what, the, the, they don't look like uh, uh, oak barrels, but this is the production area. What does that mean, production area? This is not aging. Production area is basically with wine, it's fermenting as mm -hmm. opposed to brewing, which is beer. Mm -hmm. And uh, this particular wine yeah, is yeah, in, uh, in fermentation process. The uh -huh. yeast is consuming the sugar, producing the alcohol. You really get to learn firsthand. Now, to give it that oaky flavor, you've got a way around that, too. And uh, yeah. look at this. Check this out. This is actually little oak chips. This is oak chips. This is how we oak a majority of our wines. Uh -huh. And this is basically our oak barrel. This is oak. It, it is. goes right in there and it gives that. It goes right in there, yeah. How's it taste? Oaky? Very uh, chip monkey. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> now, this is production. Now we're talking about aging. When you age wine, now, get, Mel and Mike, check this out. This is aging. What? There's a, there's a bottle of wine on, what, what is this? It's a magnet. It looks like a coaster, but it's actually a magnet. And what it does is it ages our wines about 18 to 24 months in about 30 minutes. Come on, Mr. Houdini with the magic tricks, the magic delicious wine tricks. It, it actually, I tell you, so you bottle it and then you, you actually put it on these things. We do. Yep. Oh, every and, every bottle that's uh, in the winery is has been aged, and so it tastes really good and it's ready to drink as soon as you bottle it. And you sell this as well. Can people age, continue to age their own wine? Absolutely. And okay. you can age store-bought wines, but uh, we'd rather you... Age our wines. We got to be careful, uh, Mel and Mike, not to get too close to one of these things because they'll actually age us. <laughs> and that's probably not a good idea. Water to wine. It's about two hundred and fifty dollars for how many bottles? Twenty-eight bottles. That's a whole lot of wine, but in the Daru household, that ain't nothing. That's a drop in the bucket. I believe it. KDVR.com is the website, guys. Pretty interesting. Yeah, that is interesting, Dan. All right. Thank well, you, thank Dan. You, Mike. I bet the oh, process you, would be. I bet the process would be really fun. Yeah, I think it would. Just, uh... Also, our very own Dan Daru drinking on the job yet again. Boy, I could think of other things worse to Pierce. Hey, listen, have a good time, Michael, by making your own wine. Dan Daru joins us live from Water to Wine in Greenwood Village this morning to tell us more. Did you finish that <laughs> bottle all by yourself, Dan? There is no way I would be drinking wine made by those two ladies. You get the toe jam in there, yep. and that just doesn't sound oh. delicious. Now, here's a pop quiz, Mel and Mike. What is wrong with this bottle? Three. It's two. empty. You are a smart winner, winner. winner. We have a winner, Mel. Nicely done. <laughs> We're going to bottle some wine right now. Here's Marcus Tipton. Uh, water to wine is where we are. It teaches you how to make wine. It takes about 45 days for the whole process. Now, what are you doing right here? We're cleaning the bottle. Clean, cleaning the bottle. We're cleaning the bottle. And sanitize the bottle. We're sanitizing yep, the bottle. Yeah, making okay. sure there's nothing that's going to ruin the wine. Nothing, that's a good idea. And then we're actually bottling the wine right now, Marcus. Here it comes right now. This is, uh, we're filling up your first bottle of wine. After 45 days, of course, we have the wine right Right here, yep, the and then it's right going right through there into the bottle, and this is what people get to do themselves. That's exactly right. Bring a party, bring some food, have some fun, drink some wine. Well, look at that, boy. Sold. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. So then you remove it from the uh, bottle, bottle, bottle wine filler. Bottle yep. filler, and then you take it over here to the... Right here. This is the corker. The corker. You're a cork. That sound great. You're such a corker. Yeah, and you're putting the cork Put in Put the, the cork in, yep. Yeah, there and uh, there it is right there. How fun is that? There's your bottle oh, of wine. Then we come on over here, and then... Got to put a label on it. Got to put a label on it, but okay. first we're going to put a uh, foil on it. Oh, this, sure okay, hold on. Nice. See, it's like this. You put it on top. That's right. And then, and then we apply a little heat. Put some heat on it. Look at and that. And shrink it down. It's shrinking right up. That's right. Yeah, it'll look nice here in just a second. That's all right. We're, I know yeah. we're, we're yeah, kind of condensing sort of this for this. TV. That's all right. Yeah. That's okay. So things are going good here. We'll get it all smoothed out like Look at that. that. It's all nice and tight. Is that how the big boys do it? Uh, no, okay. not really. <laughs> Right. They wish they Good did. Answer. Yeah. Answer. Now you got a label. So now we're going to put a label well, on we it. You can customize labels here, you too. You can customize right. labels, anything you want. Yeah, we we do it for every uh, every type of business. We yes. do it for uh, weddings and all the fun stuff. Listen. And there is your bottle of wine. Look at that. And then people can, can and come down and learn to do it themselves. Okay, so it's 45 uh, days from coming down here and, and doing this That's into right. the actual consumption. It took about a minute and maybe a minute and a half to bottle it. That's It'll right. take about... 
three minutes to drink it, Mel. Now, uh, what's going on Wednesdays? If people want to sample this uh, water to wine, what's going on Wednesday? The second Wednesday of every month, we have a Wine Down Wednesday, which is our big party. And uh, we do wine tastings, food, live music, and it's a great time. It's $20 at the door. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And we're at the uh, Water to Wine in, uh, you, you say it's the Denver Tech Center, but it's off Arapahoe Road. Arapahoe Road, yep. We're just a little bit south of DTC, Arapahoe Road, just east of I-25. We've got a bottle doom. We've got, oh, listen, this is the saddest thing. It needs a friend, Mel. Am I going to toss it back to you guys? Oh, Mike, can you do me a favor? Mike? Yes, yes sir. Go, go like this. Go like this and go. <clears throat> go like this and go. <clears throat> oh, is it over to the side? There we go. Right there, right there, right that there. always happens. There we go. Ah, you're good, man. Now you're good, man. Nice, nice. Hey, you watch my six, I watch your six. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Dan. Oh, I appreciate wow. that.